is a first timer here at Comedy Loser. Uh, sometimes we get emails and we just let people come up. So put your hands together for Phil Cosgrove, everybody. Phil Cosgrove. Hello everyone, my name is Phil Casgrove, and I am a lawyer from the firm of LaGuardia and Holmes, and I represent Mr. Santa Claus, I'm sure you've heard of him. Anyways, the following letter is of complete creation by Mr. Santa F. Claus, and at his request, I am to read the letter verbatim without making any changes as to affect the accuracy and authenticity of his message. <clears throat> Dear assholes big and small, <laughs> wide and tight, I am writing you this letter to inform you that as of December 26, 2009, I will no longer be your fat slave boy. I am resigning to Santa Claus due to the stress and aggravation it has caused to my existence. I will try to explain some of these irrecoverable hardships in this letter. <laughs> For status, I hate what I have become, which can be only described as a fat mess. I look in the mirror and I hate myself, all in the attempt of being jolly as part of my contract. Well, I'm changing that. I'm planning to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser Show. No more sausage and gingerbread for me. I will no longer be your fat whore. <laughs> Changes to my appearance have been a constant with this career. I know I have a white beard and white hair, but I am only 37 years old. I have been bleaching my head so much I probably have a tumor the size of a snow globe in my head. I don't think any of you realize the amount of abusive comments I have to endure 11 months of the year. When you have to walk around looking like a tubby wizard, I'm sure you could imagine some clever insults that I have been used on me many times. Oh yeah, and the little treats you leave out for Santa have become a complete joke and effort and care. No one bakes anymore. Instead, I'm left cereal or Oreos. I can buy my own Oreos, you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> These treats are my only form of payment. You would think you could at least put the time to bake some shortbread or even some Rice Krispie squares, which a baby could make, and in fact, should. <laughs> I'm leaving a little thought ball presents. Do you have any idea how terrifying it is to break and enter millions of homes every year? I've developed several ulcers due to the stress. I witnessed all kinds of weird shit, including bizarre sexual acts that I cannot unsee. <laughs> that have left me contemplating my own sexuality. <laughs> I've been shot 48 times. <laughs> I've had my balls nearly wrought off by a Dalmatian, and I woke up in the 345 San Pedro Avenue in Albuquerque, New Mexico without any pants. I have no recollection of how this happened. I'm sick of the press frenzy over my workshop. Yes, I know that elves do not exist, and that I have in fact employed three dozen little people. <laughs> But I gave them an earnest living. At least I'm not exploiting these hard-working men and women by giving, making them circus, circus freaks or giving them a show on TLC so the world can see they're just like everybody else and we don't have to be afraid of them. I'm a washed-up nobody. I'm not even used as the endorsement for Coca-Cola anymore. I lost my contract to polar bears. Does anybody else realize they eat people? <laughs> I've never even killed anyone. Well, except that guy I hit with my sleigh after some jerk left me eggnog instead of milk. And of course it was Vietnam. Anyway, I can't believe the amount of morons in the world that don't believe I exist. How do you think the present showed up? Your husband or your wife just took care of it? What the hell's the matter with you people? Do you even communicate anymore? Or do you just keep humping and making more shit machines for me to add to my list? <laughs> the stress 
stress involved with making the naughty nice list. Who am I to decide? I'm an alcoholic with a gambling addiction and cheats on his wife. I'm supposed to play God and decide who gets presents and who burns in hell? By the way, the lump of coal is actually an ode to burn in hell. I thought it was kind of funny to give kids a little preview of what's coming up. <laughs> and what is with the movies you made about me? Tim Allen? Seriously? That's who you could find to play me? You couldn't show me some dignity with get Brad Pitt up feel Philip Seymour Hoffman? <laughs> did, did you people also choose Ben Stiller to play Johnny Cash or Brendan Fraser to play Gandhi? <laughs> I'd also like to thank the creators of Home Alone. I hope you realize you planted some pain-inflicting seeds in the heads of demented 11-year-olds all over the world. We thought it would be hilarious to set booby traps for Santa. I now have to endure a bad ankle. I lost the feeling in my right pinky, and it is still painful for me to endure an erection over six minutes. <laughs> Thanks to global warming, essentially caused by you people, I now have no place to live. So I've decided to move to Cuba, to drink pino coladas with bikini-clad prostitutes as I try to forget. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm done. You can have your bullshit holiday. Give it back to Jesus Christ or whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I hate children and I always have, now you know. Happy holidays. Signed, Santa Claus. Thank you. Yeah.